Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shoggs of Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Wallaby Belgium. Now this is on their brand new mega coaster by Intamin for the 2021 season, uh, rumoured to still be called Mata um, and you know it's going to have this whole African theming and we do have a massive update. Now these photos are from Wallaby Belgium themselves, so massive shout out to Wallaby Belgium. Uh, for these pictures and it's showing off the construction of the station uh, area and the station theming come along really really well as well as the delivery of something special and you, you'll guess by the pictures we're going to show you um, so we're going to show you all the construction pictures tell you a bit about the ride for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what the rumored named coaster matter is and uh, share with you my thoughts on the recent construction so before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, my fine fellows and gentlemen and ladies and girls. And also, we're getting closer and closer to half a million views, which is unbelievable. So thank you very much, guys, for all the support. Let's keep that going for the rest of this year and keep it going through 2021 and beyond. And for now, let's get started by having a look at the recent construction on Wobble Belgium's brand new Intamin Mega Coaster. So we start with picture number one already on your beautiful screens. And this is showing off the station area right now with a turn coming into it or out of it, depending on which way you're looking at this ride. Um, so yeah, the turn's coming into the station. It's at the other end of the station where the exit platform will be. And wow, doesn't it look amazing? As John Barrowman would say, it looks fabulous. Um, I love the rock work. Absolutely love it. The the fencing around it is amazing. I love the uh, the sticks at the top, sort of as you're coming in through to the station. Uh, that's good African theming there. Obviously, you can see uh, some steel framing as they're you know preparing part of the station for more construction going on. Uh, so you can see see work is still being done. Uh, to that, you can see the lift hill peeking over the top of the station building, uh, which is brilliant. And you know all the work that's been done on this so far is absolutely amazing. Moving into picture two, again the lift hill's slightly in shot, but you can see this is uh, going f sort of further to the left now, uh, where you get like a corner look at the station building, sort of uh, round the turn. This is like the start of the turn into the station from the brake run. And again, you can see the amazing fence work and rock work and wall front and the facade of it. It looks incredible. It, it looks absolutely incredible. And you can see a closer look at the track colours in the sunlight as well. Is it just me or does the sunlight on the track and support colours look absolutely beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So well done to Wobby Belgium for taking those pictures. Moving in then to the third picture. Not much to say about this one, but a lovely LKW Walter truck there. Shout out to LKW Walter for whatever they're delivering. And um, it's nice to see some more delivery. You can see some... Uh, some stuff that's under some scaffolding sheets so again that's going to be up very very soon you get a closer look at the support as well next to it so it's nice to see a close look at the support it's like an army green type color that support which is very very nice indeed picture number four on your screen now and wow it's getting exciting it's the first delivery of you guessed it something special aka the trains for the ride uh now this looks amazing this looks sh amazing as nicole scherzinger would say and um uh, back in the days of classic x factor uh but the trains look incredible don't they They look brilliant and um, you know you can't really see much under the scaffolding sheet but it's a very nice surprise Next picture on your screen now then, and that is a train being lifted onto site in a nice, a nice protective shell, a nice protective scaffolding sheet case, uh, getting ready to be lifted into the site, ready to go on the track, ready for testing to begin on the ride uh, as soon as possible. Finally, on your screen now, the final picture of today, and this is showing off the uh, train rate one of the other trains being ready to be lifted into place uh, Ready for testing to begin on the ride again some more train lifting shall we say by crane uh, Now for those of you who are new and need some stats for this ride 
This coaster, this Intamin Mega Coaster, has a length of 3,937 feet, a height of 164 feet, a speed of 70.2 miles per hour, a vertical angle of 80 degrees, a duration of 1 minute 30, and 15 airtime points. Now, this has a capacity of 1,080 riders per hour. It's installed by RCS. We know them in the industry. And also, with the arrangement of the trains, it's two trains with six cars per train. Riders arranged two across in two rows for a total of 24 riders per train, which is quite a lot of people per train. Uh, so that's the stats, and now let's talk about my thoughts on these special deliveries and station work on the construction site. So that is the work done on the rumouredly named Matter at Wallaby, Belgium. Um, Juan Matter, if you're watching this, if you found this video, shout out to you. <laughs> uh, I had to put the joke in there for all you Man United fans, I had to. Uh, but the construction work on this is amazing. I mean, this, first of all, not even talking about the trains, first of all, being delivered, first of all. I keep saying first of all, why do I do that? I don't know. Uh, but the actual station work and the, the look of the station area is brilliant. I love the design of it. I love the wall. Um, I love the look of the walls, the facade of the station. I love the theming on it. Um, it gives you a sense. I love the rock work in that first image. You see the massive rock work? That's brilliant. And then talking about the trains being delivered, we haven't even seen them off the scaffolding yet. And already I am very excited to see the possible train design for this. Um, so this project is really coming along really, really well. And don't forget, we've covered this project for a long, long time. We covered this project right from the beginning. And it was one of the first few videos we ever did on this channel. And it was talking about the first official concept art for this brand new coaster. This brand new mega coaster. The tallest, fastest, longest coaster in the Benelux. Um, you know, whatever records it's broke, you know, and of course the Benelux, if you didn't know already, is Belgium, Holland and Luxembourg, I believe. And, you know, this is just going to be an incredible project, a really, really incredible project. And, you know, you guys know I love roller coasters and you know I love the best of the best. This could way well be up there with the best of the best. So I'd like to get to Belgium as soon as it's open to ride this ride because it's going to be brilliant. So... Um, love the work done so far. Train delivery shows that testing soon to begin, I'm sure. And, you know, I can't wait for some winter testing videos on this coaster. It's going to be amazing. So apart from testing the ride and opening the ride, the, the final big thing they need to do, as well as testing beginning and testing finishing and the opening of the ride, is the official name reveal and the story reveal. That's what we're waiting for. Same with Pops Under Pan and their Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. That is what we are waiting for. And I'm sure it's going to come very, very soon. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Child. Coop, living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Potentially today, if Matt releases some information. Thank you very much. Have a thrill day.